There's no doubt about it. That is Diane. Don't you see something missing in that picture, sir? What's missing? Where's the bracelet? Like the bracelet that matches yours, sir. Where is it on that picture? She forgot to wear it. She probably left it at home. Well, why would she do that, sir? The last time she left, she wore it all the way to Europe. Besides, I just checked her jewelry box. It's not there. And more importantly, where is Diane? Oh, you got me, sir. The only thing we have to go on is we found her car in the tollway zone. Oh, maybe four blocks from where you and the girls were shopping. So, once again, Diane's missing and I'm suspect. The only thing I suspect, sir, is that you and Diane are setting me up to solve another perfect crime that never happened. Columbus, do you think Diane and I are capable of such a diabolical scheme? Oh, yes, sir, I'm sure of it. You two left a string of false clues that really had me convinced. I don't know what you're talking about. There was that terrific scene, that emotional argument that you and Miss Hunter played for the benefit of her secretary, knowing that it was being recorded and that she would overhear it and want to tell somebody about it. There was the shot in the alley. I got that one wrong. I thought the double fired the shot into Miss Hunter, but it was Miss Hunter that fired the shot into the air so that they would hear it in the kitchen. And then we would find your shell casing in the alley. And then there was that coffee and cream thing Miss Hunter did for the cameras down at the airport. That was a good clue. But the real convincer, that was those hairs that you planted in the back seat. That proved there had to be a double and that the body had to be back here at the chateau. Which, of course, it wasn't. I told you that many times. But you knew I would have to bring in an army to search a place this size. I gotta hand it to you. You did it all beautifully. And I really believed it. Of course, if I hadn't, neither would the press. And then you wouldn't have gotten all those headlines and a few million more people to buy your magazine. Which they did. Which caused Sir Harry to up his price. Which is why Miss Hunter, quote, agreed to disappear. She underestimated you, didn't she, sir? It never occurred to her that you were setting her up to be an accomplice to her own murder. I still don't know what you're talking about. The first time she disappeared was all play acting. But this time you killed her, sir. Why? Why would I do that? To get control of a magazine. Your articles of incorporation provide that if either party is incapacitated for 30 days or longer, the other partner has sole power of attorney. So even if the body is never found, you've got control of the magazine. That's nonsense. Ah, oh, there's no point in denying it, sir. You killed her. You hid the body, you send everybody off on a shopping spree so one of your nymphs could double as Diane without being missed. Probably that girl, Tina, who thinks you're gonna marry her. Okay, Columbo. You think I killed her? Then you find the body, start digging. Oh, no, sir, you know that with all the bad publicity the police department got, you know I can't tear this place apart again. You put me in the position of the little boy who cried wolf. I gotta hand it to you. You committed the perfect crime. There's no way I can convince you you're wrong, is there? You know why you can't? No. Why? You see that? She's wearing Miss Hunter's mink coat. Now see this. Look at these fur coats, all in bags. And the lady in that convertible is wearing Miss Hunter's coat. But where's the empty storage bag? There's one missing. Where is it? I give up. Where is it? You know that better than anybody, sir. The body's in the storage bag. To keep it from smelling when it decomposes. Enough, Colombo. I've had it with you. You and your fantastic accusations. Now get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, sir. I don't blame you for being angry. Before I go, sir, do you mind if I use your phone? Go ahead. Uh, 
No worries, sir. It's a local call. Thank you, sir. Sorry to bother you. Did you hear that? Pasó, señor. No sé lo que es. I didn't see Miss Hunter's people and whoever it was who drove through the main gate last night. And I couldn't find it in the jewelry box. I figured you left it on her body. I got the number from the mobile phone company. And you just saw me dial in my message. One more thing. 